Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and I believe somebody was asking me how they could set their line to be like a dotted line all the time. Or anyway, I when I draw in graphic, I draw in a red hairline. So that's my default. I can make it any thickness or any color. Without anything selected, double click on your your pen tool. The graphics should come up and hit OK. This window will come up and then you can make it four points. You go right here and you can make it any dimension and edit some styles and we're just going to make one. So we're going to move this to about here, but we're going to take this one and fill in the black. So we want a really long dash line. Um, I think much longer than anything uh, Krill has. The one thing I've learned, if you'll go right to hints, the first dot must be black. The last dot must be a space. So we can't have that right there, as you can see. So if we go and make it a little bit longer, now we have even dots. And just say add. Now, a couple of other things you can do. You want the positioning to be, well, um, for some reason, it's not allowing me to set my, well, let's just go ahead and finish and just say, okay, so now every time you draw a dash line, you're going to have red long dots. Now, to get them even on the corners, as you can see, this one's almost even, this one's not. Then you need to check on your item, and then you can go right here to fix dashes. So if we do that and say, okay, now every time we draw a square, all the corners, well, no, they're not. I guess that won't be saved, but you can always go there. I don't know why that can't be saved. Um, let's try it one more time. Evidently, that's not an item that can be safe. And I'm thinking because of Corel can't do it because it doesn't know what size box it is until after you do it. So if you take this box right here, now Corel knows what size box it is. It can adjust the angles. And then that way, and you can make it any color you want. You know, we can make it black, just say okay. You know, if you scale it with object, and that's a kind of a big deal, because if you draw a, a little square and get your, I thought we set it on black, so let's unclick everything, make sure nothing selected, double click on the pen tool. We've already got all that set, that's what I did, I just didn't put okay. Now when we draw, a small box and it's got jagged or dotted lines. Let's go ahead and make the corners correct by going right here and telling it to fix the dashes. Now, because you scaled with object, and I've made many, many videos on this, when you make it bigger, the lines don't get that much bigger. If we would have done that without scale with object, I've gone over this many times. Let's unclick scale with object. Now you got a pretty thin line, but when you make it smaller, the lines become actually thicker. And then if you get it really small, they'll be almost too thick to use. And then if you, you know, if you go out, they're going to progressively get thinner and thinner. We're on this one that we scale with object. They're going to stay about the same thickness in relation to the size. So let's just do these two almost equal. And you can see that my dark one is quite a bit thicker. And then if you like that and you're going to draw in those dash lines all the time, just go to tools. I'm not going to do it because I don't want it. Save as default. Then every time you start Corel, you'll have dashed dotted lines. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.